Have you ever wondered if a T-Rex can use a motorcycle in Super Mario Odyssey? Or if Bowser can defeat a Brutal? If you have, it is your lucky day because today we push the limits of Super Mario Odyssey to answer these questions and more. Okay, let's see. Will this trigger their cutscene? Oh, that triggers their cutscene. Okay. Here come the Brutals. Where's the green guy at? We're supposed to fight the green guy. I'm not seeing the green guy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Wait, where's that Mario going? Uh-oh. This isn't working as expected. Oh, goodbye level. <laughs> Mario's just falling down through nothing. Oh, I took some damage. Oh, you know what I think is taking damage? I think it's actually the other Mario's up there. They're taking damage from the boss fight. I think that's what's happening. So Mario just falls like this. Oh, now all of a sudden we die. Wait, is this what this cutscene normally looks like? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I don't think this is how the game is supposed to start. I don't think this is how Super Mario Odyssey normally starts. We've got a sleeping T-Rex over here. We've got a Mario on top of another Mario. Cappy's over here looking really sad. In the background, we've got the Brutals flying around in their ship, and we hear the music coming from that. Alright, let's jump. Let's see what happens when we jump. Okay, the camera zooms over to here. Okay, the camera zooms back to us. Oh wait, but we don't have Cappy unlocked yet, so we can't even capture this T-Rex. Well, what happens if we try to beat the game without Cappy? Let's see. Okay, we are in here. We can just see the T-Rex sticking through there. Okay, so we are two Marios, not just one Mario. There we go, got two hits on him. Oh, and you only need two hits on him to defeat him. Okay, so you can defeat this boss without Cappy. What's going to happen now that we beat that boss? Because we're stuck in here, we can't exit from here. But we also can't capture this because we don't have Cappy with us. Wait, and I can't even save! Oh, it says Cappy can't use right now because we don't have Cappy unlocked, so going into two-player mode doesn't help. Okay, so there's a checkpoint flag right there, so let's get this checkpoint flag. Then let's see, can we drop down to there? Oh, wait, but I won't be able to make it back! What is happening?! What is actually going on? Where are we? What in the world is going on? What in the world? Okay, Mario is just falling. I wanted to make it over to Cappy, but we are down here. Oh, look at that. Those aren't actual buildings. They are just floating rectangles that are swirling back and forth. And I have no control over Mario. Mario is absolutely dejected and dispirited here falling into an endless void. I wonder where the other Mario is at. Can I, uh, save and quit or something? I can save now! All right, that's awesome. Perfect place to save. Wow, this Mario on the pause screen looks very happy. Okay, there we go. Our Marios are now split up. Let's see if this changes the cutscene at all. Cappy, right over here. Cappy, why don't you speak to us, Cappy? Why don't you speak to us, Cappy? We are right here. Look, we are jumping right into you. Okay, what if we go over here? And now it looks like the cutscene just plays from the angle that it's normally supposed to. <laughs> oh my goodness! We have got a rolling Mario there! This is even better than the long jumping Mario from my video where I multiplied many Marios. Oh my goodness, this is so good! This is so good that we have a spinning Mario in the background there. And you'll notice that that Mario does have a Mario cap. Only our current Mario doesn't have a Mario cap. Alright, now... Can we teleport up here? Yes, we can teleport up here. That's quite nice. Oh, and only one of the Mario's teleports. That's very funny. What's going to happen to the other one? I'm guessing the other one is still brought here with us. Oh, the other Mario's just there. Wait a minute. Was the other Mario just there waiting for us? Yeah, it looks like both Mario's are just stacked up now. Yeah, both Mario's were just stacked together. The way that it's moving around is it's looking a little weird. There's something off about it, I think. Is it just smaller or is there something off about it? It looks like there's something wrong with it. Is its head too big for its body? Wait, Cappy's was floating around the dinosaur. Yeah, look, Cappy floats around that T-Rex because that's the real Mario. This Mario over here is just the Mario clone. Okay, and if we go into this cutscene... What the?! There is something under this ship right there! There is something underneath this ship! He's looking a little flat right now, isn't he? 
Oh, but all of a sudden he transforms back to normal. Well, double Mario's make that a pretty easy boss fight. You can get through this guy pretty quickly. That Mario is just running in place there during that cutscene. That's nice. All right, let's do this with double Mario's. This Mario's left behind. This Mario's like, no, wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, and that cap's even flagged towards that one. What if we jump off with this Mario? Oh, I was wondering if this Mario would die during this cutscene, but I guess not. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, and I think there's no barrier. Okay, good. So I did successfully remove the barrier, which is nice. There's just this object called something barrier. I'll put it on the screen what the name of it is. Wait, but it looks like that guy- Oh, he does want to run down here! I wonder how far along I can bring him. Hold on. I'm curious about this. I wonder if we could damage him with this guy. What if we go like this? Oh, we just run right past him! Yeah, he doesn't care that we run into him. And he can even damage us! I might actually die here. Okay, what if we run down here? How far will you follow us down? Come down here, Brutal. Come on down. Come on down. Don't be shy. Ah! He goes so fast down this slope! Oh my goodness, I didn't have a chance! I have to test if we can take him on with the T-Rex. The rabbit looks like he just froze in fear for a second there. No, it looks like we just don't impact each other. It looks like this rabbit and the T-Rex have a symbiotic relationship. I just walk around minding my own business and the rabbit follows along. All right, let's lure him down and this time I'll be ready because I know that he goes very quickly down this slope. Yeah, he goes crazy fast down this slope. And he's even going down the slope when he's spinning like that. I say, do be careful. Yeah, we're bringing the bite to these other cappies. This guy's like, oh no, oh no, I've fallen and I can't get up. How long is he going to stay like that? Does he stay like that until the hats come back? The hats are pretty far away right now. Oh no, the hats do come back to him eventually. There we go, just a very nice family photo and we're here. We have got Bunny Senior, Mrs. Kathy, and Mario Jr. It sounds like he goes... It's crazy that he slides down while he's spinning like that. That's pretty funny. Whoa! He really goes down that slope fast. All right. Let's see what happens if we defeat this guy here. Oh, all of a sudden he's back up there and he's dizzy. What a silly brutal. And do we appear up there also? Oh, and all of a sudden we are back here. Oh, and so is the charge and chuck. When Super Mario was released on the NES in 1985, did anyone ever imagine that they'd see something like this in a Mario game? Oh man, he just defeated himself by walking into the dinosaur. All right, we've got someone new waiting here for us. All right, let's capture Bowser. Oh, we have so much more health as Bowser too. Wow, Bowser moves pretty quickly. Oh my goodness, he's got a nice jump too. What if we jump on this guy? It looks like he doesn't care that we're jumping on him. What about the Charge and Chuck? Charge and Chuck doesn't care either. Wow. Hey, okay, Bowser can't destroy a T-Rex by attacking it. Wait, 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 and all of a sudden Princess Peach is on my shoulder. <laughs> Where did Princess Peach come from? Oh my goodness. What if we pop out? Oh, you can't exit this Bowser once you're in him. All right, here we go. We have got Bowser versus the Brutal. But we can't attack him. Oh, we can defeat the Charge and Chuck. That's pretty cool. And Princess Peach is on our shoulder here. But we can't jump on this guy, we can't damage him, can't do anything to him. It's kind of funny how they made it so you can't exit this Bowser after you capture him. Wait, what if we jump off? Let's see what happens if we jump off. Oh! 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 <laughs> what? What in the world? What are they doing down there? What are they doing? What is Princess Peach doing there? How is she just floating there? She's like, oh no, Mario, help me, I'm falling. And Bowser's just dizzy there. Bowser is too tired for gravity to affect him. What an absolutely strange moment to be seeing in Super Mario Odyssey. Mario is diving to rescue Peach from the tired Bowser who is floating right now. But Mario can never make it, he keeps becoming a bubble. Get away, far away. It's like they're scared that I am Bowser. And wait, Bowser still has the Mario butt staff. Is he missing something on his head? Is there normally supposed to be Cappy there? Because he does have the mustache, but it looks like there's something missing on his head right now. Okay, let's check out the charge and chuck over here. Let's head over here. Okay, you can't jump as the charge and chuck. 
So I don't think we'll be able to go down the pipe. Can we use the motorcycle? Ah, you can't use the motorcycle, you just walk by it, that's so sad that you can't have the charger chuck use a motorcycle. Does the dinosaur do anything to the pipes? Let's see. Whoa! The, the charger chuck just vanished to another dimension! Oh, there we go, he's back. Okay, but the T-Rex can destroy the charger chuck no problem. Doesn't look like the T-Rex really cares about the motorcycle or the pipe though. Okay, let's see what we can do with Bowser. Can we use the motorcycle? No, we can only jump. Oh, but if you hit the motorcycle, then it looks like... Did points come out of the motorcycle from hitting the motorcycle? Is that what happened? Doesn't look like Bowser can use this pipe over here. Okay, and he does normally have a Mario cap on his head over here. That's why over here, if you jump off like this, then you can see that Bowser's missing something on his head there because that's normally where the Mario cap is. Does that mean that we removed Bowser's brain? And what if we go into this pipe? Okay, the pipe does work for Mar Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, okay, sure. Okay, I guess the pipe works then. Yeah, so there's a boss fight going on up there. Try jumping and tossing me onto that post. Cappy, we have more important things to do. We're in the middle of a boss fight right now. That monster is up above. Aren't you heading there now? You know, he's quite literally up above. We can actually see him from here. Wait, what if we do this now? Because we haven't pulled this yet. So let's see what happens if we pull it now. Okay, this cutscene plays. Is it still going to be the boss music that's playing? I wonder. Okay. Nice work, okay, and then the boss music starts to play again. We still have our dizzy Bowser up there. What if you run into a charge and chuck on your bike? Are you invincible on the bike? Let's see. <laughs> oh man, you damage him. Oh, but if he runs into you, you take damage. But if you're accelerating, then you damage him. Wow, that's interesting how that works. And yeah, let's pop up here. I feel like I'm playing Grand Theft Auto right now. He's looking a little wide, got a wide rabbit here. Oh, I love that I have my motorcycle right here. <laughs> I got onto the motorcycle at the perfect moment. This happens if you get onto the- Oh, what? Why did I take damage? What is happening? I'm taking damage. I guess you're not invincible on the motorcycle. Maybe he was just very surprised. Maybe he's never seen a Mario Odyssey player on a motorcycle before. Oh, somehow I knocked off one of the hats. This is actually a nice challenge. Try beating all bosses while on the motorcycle. Can you go down the pipe while you're on the motorcycle? Let's see. That's so weird! Can I teleport back? And they won't let me teleport back because it's the boss fight. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Oh, you know what? This is actually uh, a bit easier once you have an idea of what you're doing. This is not bad at all, in fact. Oh no, they damaged me. Where's he going? Where's he going? That's the right one. That's the one that I'm supposed to chase. Is he going to come back? He just flew away from the level. Are the hats ever going to come back? And let's get him. Let's get up. He's running away. We gotta get him. There we go. Defeated him on the motorcycle. That is so nice. Okay, he explodes. We are off the motorcycle though. Okay, where did our motorcycle go? Is it still around here? Good. It'd be so great if you could ride the motorcycle along that line. What if we jump off with the motorcycle? <gasps> no! Goodbye, motorcycle! <laughs>